District Attorney General across Tennessee want to place some new restrictions on the spread of prison party photos. That's where we begin News Channel 11 at 5. I'm Josh Smith. I'm Sarah Diamond. This push comes as a part of the DA legislative agenda for this year. News Channel 11's Kaylin Cluck spoke with the Sullivan County District Attorney General and found out they're looking for changes with victims in mind. One item on this year's DA legislative agenda aims to stop photos taken at parties for inmates inside prisons making it to social media. I'm told the legislative push stems from an incident that happened at the Northeast Correctional Complex. Under current TDOC policy, offenders inside state prisons are occasionally allowed to have photos taken with visiting family members. But once those photos are taken outside the prison... We can't tell a significant other who is in no way, shape, form, or fashion under our custody what they can do with those photos once they have them. District Attorney Generals like Barry Staubis want to change that. This attempt to pass a law that allows those photographs to be taken but not to be disseminated in the public to re-injure or re-traumatize victims. Staubis says a prisoner party photo bill is on the legislative agenda drafted at the 2020 Tennessee District Attorney Conference. TDOC officials say the bill comes after an incident that happened at Northeast Correctional Complex. The current significant other of an offender at Northeast taking a picture with her phone of the printed photo and then putting it on so her social media account. And then that, that stirred some, some controversy between the ex-wife of that offender. Staubis says the bill will protect victims from potentially being exposed to the image of someone who harmed them. Because it harms and sometimes uh, traumatizes the victims of crime to see if defendants are celebrating and carrying on with other folks. Right now, prison staff is allowed to take up to four photos of offenders at these types of events. Family can then buy them for $2 each. Kaylin, thanks. And Stavis also said the district attorneys are now working to find lawmakers to sponsor the legislation in the General Assembly.